This is my studio. I moved in here about 18 months ago. Got it finished just before the uh, COVID kicked off. The um, drawings here are for an exhibition I'm having in the Hunt Museum in Limerick, which will run from June to September. Fortunately, some of the drawings are at the framers at the moment, so we don't have them here for the video. Um, the drawings are based on a small bronze horse by Leonardo da Vinci. I use this as my starting point. I always like to use some kind of historical artifact as a starting point from, from my work. It just gives me a kind of reference. Um, I love history. I've always loved reading about history. And um, I think it's nice for me to have a connection with the past, but I'll go into that a little bit later as I go through the video. I always listen to music when I'm working. I love opera, especially uh, Maria Callas was playing in the background there. I just find it hugely inspirational. I love the kind of weird stories that come out of opera. They're kind of profound and kind of bizarre at the same time. But um, they give me a good idea of what I'm doing in the work. So that's just a quick whip around of a section of my studio. This is my general drawing area. Um, I always work with charcoal on Fabriano paper. I buy the large rolls and cut them down to size. These would be probably medium size that I work on. Normally I would tear off just um, a rectangular section of the roll and, and work on those. Problem with those is they're very hard to frame. And um, apart from the framing, it, they're actually incredibly heavy to use. I suppose in terms of philosophy and science, um, super string theory interests me hugely. Um, I believe that we are here because of our memories. Um, I believe we see because of our memory, our history of memories. And a lot of my work is about where the drawing was and how it got to its final state. So the areas rubbed out basically are, I suppose, where it moved through a certain passage of time and um, it kind of struggled itself out of that. It learned something or I learned something from making those marks and decided, OK, I'll push it a bit further, make more marks, push the drawing. All the marks are usually made from elements of the whatever the subject that is. In this case, it's the horse, Leonardo's horse. You can see the horse's head at the top and two legs there at the left hand side. This is another piece from the Hunt Museum. It is the taking down of Christ from the cross. Um, I decided to do a number of variations on it. I normally do something at least once a year on this particular subject. Um, again, what I'm trying to do is trying to get the feeling of movement and of despair, weight, and trying to use line to describe these elements. I've always taken my inspiration from water, reflections in water. I love the ethereal nature of something that exists, yet a couple of seconds later the wind blows and it's completely gone. These look like abstract drawings, but they are actually areas of water with bits of rubbish and bits of buildings um, and different ways the wind kind of blows the water so you get all these kind of shapes and marks so last year i did a spent the summer actually drawing these um, so with a large stick i would push things around the water until i found an interesting composition of rubbish and reflections and just sat down and drew them drawing is something i've always done from my earliest times even though I, I'm, I consider myself a painter, um, my paintings would be more drawings. I really don't see any difference between the two. This is another drawing from the canal. Again, it looks abstract, but it's as real as I could possibly make what was actually floating and reflecting in the water at the time. 
This drawing is an area of the lock gates of Golden Bridge in Dublin. Uh, I used to live fairly close by. This drawing was done probably about 25, 26 years ago. But it's the thing that sort of started me off in looking at the canal. I now live near the canal um, once again. And um, I love the changes of, um, I suppose, the stage sets, for want of a better um, term, where the gates are opened, they everything is kind of washed down, and then the next lot kind of washes in, into the same place. So I'd normally paint and draw from exactly the same place, and it's always changing. This is a combination of water painting and uh, still life marks I brought in from other pieces, so I've kind of merged the two. Um, titles of my work are very often arbitrary. They're usually added on at the end of the work, and I normally change the titles uh, continuously. The titles are usually a separate subject within themselves, but to me they would, I suppose, remind me of when I did a particular work or possibly what I was thinking about at the time. About five years ago, I started a series of collages. I was sort of running out of ideas, just looking at things and became quite bored with it. So what I did was got loads of magazines, tore them up into different shapes and um, randomly assembled them um, on another sheet of A4 paper and glued them down. Then I took my drawings that I've been working on. In, the, in this case here, it's uh, Rubens um, painting the abduction of the daughters of Lucisibus, and um, I kind of tried to combine the two. So I took off in a series of paintings using or trying to combine the marks from the original painting with the collage I'd been making. And that's it for the quick studio tour of what I've been at for the last while. Um, I find it very hard to actually say things about the work. I can talk about other people's work um, and work historically, but my own work, I don't know, I just find that I've, I've done enough within the, the, the drawings itself, um, within the paintings. They are, they are basically what they are. And um, I'm always trying to push them forward just to kind of see what I can get from them, where they can take me and Fingers crossed, um, I'll be able to start a new series once the exhibition in the hunt is concluded. Thank you for watching.